Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is find the coordinates of this point. So you'll see it is to the left two and down two. Oh, not to the left. I, I got to quit doing things backwards. So this point right here, I'm drawing it on the board to the right two and down two. So its coordinates are at two, negative two. So there's point one. Point two, its coordinates, it's to the left two and up three. So this ones are at negative two, positive three. So when you're finding the slope of the line and you know two of the points on that line, you can use what's called this slope formula. Okay, so remember each one of these points has an ordered pair, which means it has an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So does this one, an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So since this is the first point, we will call it the X1 and Y1. Since this is the second point, we'll call it the X2 and Y2. So now that we know all of these numbers and what they represent, we can use this slope formula. So here's what this is saying. It wants the second Y. Which one is the second Y? Well, you've just named them. That's the X2, Y2, that's the X1, Y1. So here's my second Y. It's three. Now you put in this minus because that's part of your formula. It's always minus there. Now it wants your first Y. So what is your first Y? Your first Y is negative two. So that's what you're plugging in, negative two. And then do the same thing with your X's in the denominator. So I need my second X. So here's my second X is negative two. Again, minus my first X. Well, here's my first X is positive two. Then do this math and that's gonna give you the slope of the line. Now, remember when you see minus and negative, that really means three plus two. So that's gonna give you five. Negative two minus two gives you negative four. So you have a positive over a negative, which just means your slope is negative five fourths. Okay, so now I'm gonna go do number five. Same kind of problem. I'm going to draw this one. So it shows a point there and then it shows a point here. Okay, so again, I'm just going to re I'm recreating this graph right here. So this one doesn't name point one and point two, it just gives two points. Here's the thing, it makes absolutely no difference which one you call the first point and the second point. You'll get the same answer, okay? You just need to find the coordinates of each of these points. So this point, so my X will be zero, right? Because I'm not left or right at all. I'm up two, so that one will be at zero, two.
This one is to the right three and up nine. So we'll put it at three, nine. So again, it doesn't matter who you call the first point and the second point. Look, I can even write these over here. I have a point at three, nine and another point at zero, two. So these two points, okay? Doesn't matter who's first, who's second or anything. Each one has an X and a Y. I'll just call this one my first point, which means it gets the ones, which means that's the second point, which means it gets the twos. Finding the slope. What do I need? I need my second Y. Well, my second Y is two. Minus, right? Because it's always minus because of the formula. My first Y. Well, my first Y is nine. Then in the bottom, I need my second X. My second X is zero. Minus my first X, which is three. So now I have two minus nine, which is negative seven. Zero minus three, which is negative three. So since they are both negative, it turns it to positive seven thirds. So that's what all five of those will be like.